So this is the part um, where we are going to do an exercise and uh, it is going to take up at least 15, possibly 20 minutes of our time uh, tonight and, and maybe not, uh, maybe it'll be take about 15 minutes of our time. So this exercise may be familiar to those who've ever done CBT therapy. And if you haven't and are new to this, let me just walk you through this exercise. It's called a re reframing exercise where we take a look at our feelings around debt and we compare those feelings with facts. So evidence, like legit evidence. And the facts are either for or against that feeling. And um, we're basically attempting to prove whether or not that feeling is legitimately true or not. Then the third part is that we reframe that and we restate that feeling as something that is positive and fact-based in the form of a statement. So um, this exercise is the foundational principle of creating a new relationship with you and your debt. We actually have to go to our feelings about our relationship with debt first and prove whether or not they're real. If you can prove if they're real or not, you can then begin to form an action plan. So the most challenging thing when it comes to debt and money psychology is when we have feelings about something and you hear this language all the time. I feel like, I feel like this, I feel like that. But if it's not rooted in fact, you could actually be completely misstepping and making the wrong decisions for your financial future. The only way that you can correct that is by acknowledging the feelings, debunking the ones that aren't real with facts and reframing them, restating them to actually be truthful and fact-based statements that are positive. So are you ready to grab your pen and paper and go with me on a little journey? Um, this is going to be, I think, very intimate for you. And um, the, the fastest way to do this <laughs> is to open up to a fresh new page on your, um, on your notebook and make three columns. So um, the first column is feelings. You are going to see very quickly how terrible my handwriting is. The middle column is facts. And the final column is what we call reframed statements. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see three columns on the screen. And we are going to debunk and reframe between two and three feelings that you have about your relationship with debt. So I'm going to give you an example of one of them. And then I'm actually going to give you a little bit of time to work on this. So I'm going to give the example that I feel, you can state it like this, your first feeling is I feel like my debt happened because I am not very smart. Okay, so that's a feeling. I feel like my debt happened because I, I don't, I'm not good with money. I'm, I'm not money smart. Okay, so that's the first example of the feeling. So now, and you can kind of see I've filled it out terribly, terrible writing, but it's right here. Then we're going to move over to the middle column. And I am going to create a list of facts, so evidence for this feeling or against this feeling. So it's like if you were in court and you had to prove something. So you're going to first go with the facts that are for this feeling. 
So remember, the feeling is that I feel like um, my debt happened because I'm not very smart with money. So let's talk about, is there any evidence for that feeling being true? And I'll say that, um, uh, well, my mother told me I wasn't very good with money. Let's just give that an example. So my mom said I, I was just bad with money. I wasn't very smart. And then I'll list, and you can list a couple of them. Then I'm going to list a few things against this. So facts against this feeling are that, um, actually, I'm quite smart. Um, I have made good decisions in the past. Um, in fact, I've made good financial decisions in the past, but I seem to have maybe a few more mistakes around debt. Um, and perhaps the other pieces of evidence against this are that um, the debt happened uh, partly due to consumerism and possibly partly due to um, an unforeseen circumstance like a job loss, which has nothing to do, the latter has nothing to do with how smart you are. So in this list, you're starting to see again, my bad, my bad writing, that there's not a lot of evidence for this feeling being true. The fact that I'm not very smart with money. Instead, I have only one point that says that that's true. And on my page, I have three points that say that that is not true. So when we line up our facts for and against that feeling, it's very quickly we're able to, dis, uh, to establish here that the feeling I have that maybe this debt wasn't this debt that this debt happened because I'm not very smart is not actually true at all. And so we're going to take the opportunity to acknowledge and reframe this feeling into a fact based statement. So here's an example of a fact based statement I made some bad mistakes. But I'm learning how to correct them. And I'm getting smarter at that because I'm a smart person. Which is a completely different statement than your feeling. So let me take you back to the original feeling was that I feel like my debt happened because I'm not smart. And we ended up with a reframe that acknowledges, hence, remember, we're going back to the acknowledgement piece here. It acknowledges that I did make some mistakes, but I am, I am correcting them right now. And I'm getting smarter at that and better at it. So the reframe is positive acknowledgement and positive moving forward. So this is an example of um, the reframing exercise. And I'm actually going to give you about five minutes here just to jot down two or three of your feelings and what related to debt and to begin to debunk them with some facts for and against and an opportunity to reframe them. So I'm going to give you about five minutes and um, believe me, this is, if it's feeling to you like a little abstract, this exercise is abstract. It is pulling on a different part of um, your, your brain right now. And it's actually causing you to get a little uncomfortable. You might, <laughs> you might even have a little bit of perspiration under your arms as you're listening and thinking about doing that. And I want you to know that that's a very natural reaction if you're um, feeling a little strange that this exercise is uncomfortable. It's, uh, it is an uncomfortable exercise, but it's also one of the most powerful tools in, um, in our approach to the, the reframe for our new story. So Dima's saying it's extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> 
So I'm going to give you five minutes and I'm going to be quiet for those five minutes. Just do a quick time check. We'll do one more minute and then get back on track. Okay, thanks everyone for trying the exercise. Um, please note that this exercise is going to be an evolution and I would encourage you in the next month, over the next month, to return to this exercise every couple of days. So if you're like a journaler, so maybe you enjoy um, doing the journal in the mornings or you do it at night, or you're maybe not a journaler at all, but um, pick a time in your day, maybe twice a week, two, three times a week, um, and take the time to give yourself the gift to continue to work through these past feelings 
reframe them through facts to help you actually boost your self-worth.